From your device, you know, you know it's your aromatic realistic TV. Anyway, people, tonight, without any further ado, we know what is taking place over the past couple of weeks. And we are talking about what? We are talking about SSL. And we are also talking about FSC. Now, when we say SSL, now we are talking about Stocks and Security Limited of Jamaica. When we say FSC, now we are talking about the Financial Service Commission of Jamaica. And we know that $1.2 billion has gone missing. Nobody cannot give account for it. So we want to jump into the meat of the matter tonight. So I'm going to play this clip with Dayton Campbell from the People's National Party. And we will discuss on the other side. Let's take a look, people. So we see what just take place in that report seen from Dayton Campbell. And you know, just we take a dive down in a this some more. You understand? Because what we are saying, we have to, we are trying to get to the meat of the matter. You understand? We now look on the bone right now, the bone of the dogs. Let's get into the meat of the matter. Seeing so there was a report was filed. In 2017 seen by the FSC right report 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 the SSL seen to former finance minister Adli Shah there was a report seen file an SSL to former finance minister Adli Shah about the suspension of SSL license. Seeing why they do that, there was widespread breach, seen and in irregularities found on their behalf. Irregularities found on their behalf and widespread breach. Seen so they filed this report. To former finance minister Adli Shah to remove them people a license because these people find suspect something not right about them, them fake, them fraud, they are up to no good. Seen so the FSC filed that report to Mr. Shah. So now we are asking. If the FSC filed this report to former finance minister Adi Shah, that simply means uh, Mr. Shah is supposed to have these documents in his report. 
Mr. Shaw need to bring these documents to the Jamaican people for the Jamaican people to find out what step and what measure did Mr. Shaw put in place regarding SSL and the suspension of their license. There must be some form of document there from Mr. Shaw. What step and measure did you take? What action you, 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 you take against SSL? What disciplinary committee you bring them to? There must be some record there for Mr. Shaw to put up front now to the Jamaican people. Because it was under his presidency, this report file. And now, this is where I'm going to blame the FSC, right? Financial Service Commission of Jamaica. Now, this is where I'm going to blame them. If Mr. Shaw did not get back to you guys with a report of the action that he would take against SSL, which we know that is Tax and Security Limited of Jamaica. If Mr. Shah did not take any action against them, where is the follow-up of the S of the FSC? The FSC should follow up to know what decision was taken seen on behalf of the Jamaican people towards SSL. Because if there were breaches that found, it simply means that they are not playing the game fair. They are suspicious. They are fraud, fake, not legit to run such organization in Jamaica. So Adli Shah dropped the ball here. See? And also the FSC dropped the ball here. Oh, we know so them dropped the ball. So Ara, aromatic. Oh, you know so them dropped the ball. It is simple. If they did not drop the ball, Adli Shah would make a ruling on SSL. Their license would be suspended. If the FSC did follow up on the report that they filed to Mr. Shaw against SSL, then they would have known that Mr. Shaw did not take any action. So they can move maybe to the Prime Minister or somebody else in IR authority with that filing. They did not do so. And you know the reason why we know say, they did not do so? Because in the ending of 2022 into the beginning of 2023, the man them scammed the Jamaican people them again. <laughs> the man them scammed the Jamaican people them again. So therefore, you know, take rocket scientists to figure it out. Everybody know now so the man them scam the Jamaican people again. All because of what? The negligence of Audley Shaw and also the negligence of the FSC. Because how can you file a report of such important right to the citizen of Jamaica? Right to the former finance minister of Jamaica? Right? You must have a timeline where you're supposed to get back an answer. And if you don't get back an answer within that timeline, you must say, boy, no man, something no wrong, man. This suspicious. We have to go back, go do a follow-up on this. And from 2017, there is no follow-up. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Six years. Almost six years. We don't know follow-up. Something is not right. Seen? Was the Prime Minister aware of this? Have to be. Because this is a major concern for the citizens of Jamaica regarding their money that is in such institution. So this is not a secret. Maybe it was a secret to us, the small people. 
But when it's pertaining to us, the people who are in hierarchies, IR, are in high authorities, they would have known. So Mr. Shaw dropped the ball. See, by, by failing the Jamaican people, right, to suspend the license of SSL, right, and the FS and the FSC also fail the Jamaican people by not following up on that report that they filed to then finance minister Adley Shah. So everybody dropped the ball. But I have a little secret here to show you, share with you tonight. And is that for the past two election cycle these Ponzi scheme institution including SSL Stocks and Security Limited of Jamaica they are funding the Jamaica Labour Party campaign machinery you hear what I just said for the past two election cycle this Ponzi scheme, fraud institution, such as this SSL, right? Stocks and Security Limited of Jamaica are funding the Jamaica Labour Party political campaign. Bridget, no lane without a tunnel. It takes the Prime Minister more than a week to respond to this scam. It take the finance minister, Nigel Clark, days before he respond. Seeing to this fraud that was taken against the Jamaican people of $1.2 billion, including the legendary sprinter. And they were nowhere to be found. They were nowhere to be found. So now that we hear that the executive director, Mr. Everton McFarlane, is now resigned from the port, from that post. His last day will be January 31st, 2023. So them get rid of him now out of the picture. What we need to hear from Adley Shaw. They need to bring back Adley Shaw. We want to know what Adley Shaw knew when he knows and what he do. The Jamaican people want to know when that report was filed in 2017. The former finance minister, Adley Shaw. What did Mr. Shaw knew at the time? And what action did he take on the Jamaican people behalf pertaining towards this fraud, Ponzi scheme, crookish, no good institution? S-S-L What did Mr. Shaw know? And why Mr. Shaw did not sanction these people? Why Mr. Shaw did not make a ruling? Why Mr. Shaw did not suspend their license? Knowing that widespread breaches and irregularities was found on their behalf. Something no sound good. Something fishy over here, sir. The raw. It's raw. It's fishy. You no look good. You no sound good. Why would you, as a finance minister, then get such briefing? 
right? And this important matter of widespread spread and irregularities. Seen? And this institution, SSL, and Mr. Shaw done nothing knowing that the Jamaican people is paying you to work for them in the best interest for them. Right? And to make sure say, nobody from out of the country you know, come set up them little spongy scheme and come rob you, brother. But you don't care. Because guess what? They are huge donors of the JLP political campaigns over the past two election cycle. So nobody cares. And you don't need to look far to realize that. It takes the Prime Minister over a week to address the media. It takes the financial minister, the present financial minister, Nigel Clark, days before he briefed the Jamaican people and such of an important matter that this thing may eat, hurt Jamaica in the long run. Seeking loan from the IMF. This is what I mean. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what I think, said, man. Heights of corruption and impracticity. Mr. Shaw need to come talk to the Jamaican people them. What is there in the notes from 2017? There must be something in the notes from 2017. What did Mr. Shaw know? What did he find out? Why he did not sanction these people? Why he did not take away their license? Why? One would have to ask. But anyway, what good? The thing no look good. <laughs> Until then, we chat again. Stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. You know, turn good. Something no right. <laughs> So, no right.